In this video, I will show you another example of operational amplifier. This will be example number 2 out of 8 examples. Calculate the output voltage for the following circuit. We have to calculate the output voltage of this operational amplifier as indicated by this voltmeter. Output voltage is measured between the output terminal to the ground terminal. Here you will see this non-inverting terminal is connected to ground and output terminal is connected to the inverting terminal through this 6 kilo ohm resistor. So the circuit is in negative feedback due to which this inverting and non-inverting terminal voltages will be equal. Now let me talk about this portion of the circuit. See, let's see if I denote this terminal as terminal A and this is our ground terminal. Here you will see we have a complex series parallel circuit with a single voltage source and a single current source. If it is possible for us to find the voltage difference between this A terminal to ground terminal, if I denote that voltage as VA, that circuit will be the similar circuit structure of an operational amplifier inverting amplifier from which we can calculate our output voltage VO equal to minus RF divided by R1 into V a. This VA will be the applied input voltage. Now I will show you how to calculate VA from the circuit. After that I will calculate this output voltage. Before going to the circuit solution, let me show you the circuit setup in a simulator. See here the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be 3.02 volt. As the circuit is in negative feedback, inverting and non-inverting terminal voltages will be equal which will be 0 volt nearly, 60.3 microvolt which indicates 0 volt. And here our output voltage will be minus 6.03 volt as indicated by this voltmeter because here this is minus because the negative sign is in upward direction and positive sign is in downward direction. So this terminal will have a voltage of 3.02 and our output voltage will be minus 6.03 volt. Now to calculate the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal at first I have to disconnect this left portion of the circuit from the original circuit. There if I remove this portion of the circuit I will calculate the voltage difference between this A and this ground terminal or across this open circuit terminals so our circuit will look like this ok now see I will calculate VA with respect to this A and ground terminal now see in this circuit we have two energy sources 4 volt and this 100 milliampere source so at first I will keep the 4 volt source active here I will apply superposition theorem to calculate VA. Now when I will keep this 4 volt source active, I will denote this voltage with VA prime by considering this terminal as higher potential and this terminal as lower potential. In that case I will replace the current source with an open circuit. If I replace the current source with an open circuit, I will remove this entire branch from the network. Therefore you will see VA prime will be the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor. Now see with respect to this terminal and this terminal this 5 ohm and this 40 ohm resistances are connected in parallel. So I can reduce them to a single resistor that means I can reduce or replace them with their equivalent resistance. R equivalent will be equal to 40 into 5 divided by 40 plus 5 which will be equal to 4.44 ohm 4.44 ohm now see this 4 volt will supply the current in this direction let's say I denote that current with I this I will be entering at this 25 ohm resistor from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative see as VA prime and this 25 ohm resistor have the same polarities therefore VA prime will be positive now to calculate the voltage across this 25 ohm resistor I will simply apply voltage divider rule 25 divided by 25 plus 
4.44 into 4 which will give us a value of 3.39 volt after calculating VA prime for this 4 volt source I will keep this 100 milliampere current source active in that case I will replace this voltage source with a short circuit see I have replaced the voltage source with a short circuit now I will calculate the voltage for this 100 milliampere source which I will denote with VA double prime okay now see this VA prime will be the voltage drop across this 25 ohm resistor as this 5 ohm and this 40 ohm resistances are connected in parallel I can replace them with their equivalent parallel resistance which will be 4.44 ohm now see this 100 milliampere current will enter at this point after that it will flow through this path at this point it will have two paths to divide one is in this direction and another is in this direction see in this 25 ohm resistor current will be entering from this direction so this side of this 25 ohm resistor will be positive and this side of this 25 ohm will be negative see I am calculating the VA prime by considering this terminal as positive and this terminal as negative therefore VA prime will be let's say the current that is flowing through this 25 ohm resistor is I1 into 20 5 as the resistance and the voltage we are measuring have opposite polarities therefore I will put a minus sign in front of it okay now I will calculate I1 to calculate the current I1 I will take the resistance of opposite branch 4.44 divided by the value of resistances 4.44 plus 25 this is our special current divider rule when we have two resistances connected in parallel r1 r2 if a current i is entering in this direction if i want to calculate the current through let's say r2 i denote that with i2 i will take the resistance of opposite branch r1 divided by the value of branch resistances r1 plus r2 into value of current so here i will get i1 equal to 15.08 milli ampere so our va double prime will be equal to minus 15.08 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 25 from which I will get a voltage of minus 0 0.38 volt see as I have applied superposition theorem for 4 volt source I have calculated VA prime equal to plus 3.39 volt and for 100 milliampere current source VA double prime equal to minus 0 0.38 volt so here our VA will be the algebraic sum of these two voltages VA prime plus VA double prime here VA prime is 3.39 and VA double prime is minus 0 0.38 8 so I will get a voltage of 3.01 volt see here this VA will be equal to 3.01 volt now our output voltage here the feedback resistor is 6 kilo ohm this bias resistor is 3 kilo ohm and the value of VA is equal to 3.01 from which I will get minus 2 into 3.01 which will be equal to minus 6.02 volt see my calculation is coherent with my simulated result okay that's it thank you